So Vegas clearly getting close to its launch, along with the ever more probable Polaris refresh. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. This will probably be a pretty short video, but it shows us more of AMD's upcoming GPU launches, so let's get right into it. Both Vega and the rumored, yet almost legitimate at this point, Polaris Refresh IDs seem to have turned up in an AMD Linux driver update. Here's the thing about it though, it seems Vega actually has 7 IDs given to it. That doesn't necessarily mean there's actually going to be 7 different SKUs, but it's something to think about, as we know of only 3 SKUs so far. Could that mean that there's more Radeon GPUs? Maybe something to compete with the 1070? Possibly, though I wouldn't look too heavily into it. Really I would say that it makes sense though as the RX 480 refresh would only compete with the Nvidia's 1060, leaving nothing for the next tier. And no, it's doubtful that it's the 1080 Ti's competitor because the bottom card on the list, presumably the highest in card, is the same one we know of back in CES. Either way, the idea of a Vega card in the price range of the 1070 running HBM2 is a nice thought. Just don't get your hopes up too high. Really, I think it just shows that this Polaris refresh is getting more and more proof that it's pretty much going to happen. But while on the topic of Vega, I figured I'd show you some supposedly, though seemingly legitimate, leaked images of the upcoming RX Vega. They were apparently picked off a video shown exclusively to a few members of the press. Plus this, I'm going to say, this would be quite a fake if it is. I doubt anyone would go through that kind of trouble, but then again, who knows. It is the internet. As to the card itself, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, look at this thing. It's also supposed to have a dip switch to change the colors of the LED. I have to admit though, reference cards aren't always known for their beauty, though Nvidia has been doing some pretty beastly looking cards lately, so AMD really looks to be competing with Nvidia on more levels than one. <laughs> the last topic I wanted to cover was Nvidia's 1080 Ti. Somebody <laughs> got it to overclock to three gigahertz. In case you're wondering, it already broke the record of the Titan X at 2.5 gigahertz. They got it 500 megahertz higher. That's, I don't know, that's just insane. I just really needed to share that. Now, I mean, don't get too excited. They had to use liquid nitrogen, but still. Anyway, what do you think about the possibility of AMD launching multiple Vega cards for gaming? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I know this video is pretty short, but I should definitely have some really cool ones coming up for all of you. And... I don't know, I just really wanted to share it. It's it's cool to think about AMD actually being able to compete with Nvidia on every single level of graphics card and that's, that could really change some stuff. But before I end the video, I, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Seriously, it's unbelievable the traction this channel's getting. About a week and a half ago, that's not this very last Saturday, but the Saturday before that, I reached 1,000 subscribers. I was ecstatic, seriously. A thousand? I mean, I know that's nothing to other people. There are people that get that in a day, but for me, it took months just to get to 100. So all of a sudden going from like 150 to 1,000 in a week, I, I think it was a week. That's, that's amazing, and it just blew me away. Yeah, it's been a week and a half since then, and I'm nearing 4,000. I'm just, I'm in awe of it, really. Uh, it, it just feels incredible. And really, just know that the bigger I get, the more I can do, and the better content I can bring. I'm also actually thinking about content. Uh, I, I do want to branch out and do more, and I'm thinking of a few ways of doing that. I just figured maybe I'd bring it to you. Like, for one, I could continue the daily news stories and then maybe do a hardware review or a game review or, or some kind of like, I don't know, tech talk show or something like that, do it live on the weekends. Another thing I was thinking about was like maybe doing a bunch of reviews during the week, maybe do some Let's Plays or something like that, and then do a weekly roundup on tech news. But, I don't know, it, it definitely seems like everyone's really enjoying the tech news, so I could always do that, maybe do some other stuff on the weekends. I don't know. That's why I'm coming to you. I really want all of you to be part of where this channel goes and what happens with it, so let me know in the comments below, and if you like the idea and somebody's already said it, just go ahead and upvote that, and that'll definitely make it clear to me that it's what you want. So yeah, it's, it's exciting, to say the least, and... I'm going to do everything that I can to make this channel better and better and better. I'm going to try and bring better content, bigger content, everything. Um, I'm just excited. That's really all it boils down to. That does it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, 
go ahead and click that round icon in the middle to subscribe. You can also check out my last video to the left or a suggested video to the right. And as always, have a great day.